All right, guys, if you watched my Supporting Small Business Book Barn Galore haul, you know that I am making a spooky basket for my brother's girlfriend. I am making it for my brother. So I am not giving it to her. My brother has fully funded this basket on the side of me. Thank God, because it wasn't cheap. Um, but he knows I love creating gift baskets. I give it a lot as gifts for birthdays and Christmases. Um, I have some on my channel if you guys want to go check out that playlist. So I, I am going to show the book barn galore items very quickly. But if you want more detail, go check out that video. I did a whole devoted video to those products. But she loves to read like i do and she loves ghost face she even has a ghost face tattoo so i saw that book got, book barn galore was doing a ghost face little collection within their halloween collection <coughs> every print she has almost comes in like every item that she makes so i was able to get it and this keychain wristlet which is really high quality this metal is so solid like you know, I'm used to buying Dollar Tree things and you really notice the difference in quality here. This was $15. I also got it in a bookmark. <coughs> oh man, I swear the second I start filming, I need to cough. I got her the bookmark. This is different from Gigi and Bo. You guys know I love supporting Gigi and Bo, but this is a fabric bookmark. They actually buy from each other all the time. Um, it's good to support small businesses, even if you are a small business help each other out but it's different style because it's fabric and i thought she'd really like that and it's going to go with her book sleeve so i don't want to open it because it's in this beautiful packaging from book barn galore with a little thank you card that says it's spooky season so i'm going to give it to her with that in case she wants the card but the book sleeve is this exact same bookmark print so she'll have a matching little set and then to be honest i had to hit I want to say it was $69 or was it $59? It was either $59 and got free shipping or $69 and got free shipping. And I know I spent, it was either $65 or $75. I know I just went, I went just over. So I didn't really need anything. I said, you know, what? I'll just pick up one more bookmark for her to put me over that. That I'd rather get another item out of it than pay $8 shipping. It was going to even out the same way. You know what I'm saying? I think this bookmark was 9 so for a dollar more she actually gets an item and it's nightmare before christmas and she does like love nightmare before christmas as well i love the matching tassel jack skeleton the jack-o-lanterns super duper cute so i'm going to be throwing that in her gift basket i have a product on the side of me here from walmart i literally shopped a little bit of everywhere i have some dollar tree i have some small business i have some big corporations i have walmart target you guys will see when i get into it but this is the product that just came got here as well that's not in the basket everything else is in the basket the basket itself is also from dollar tree i didn't want to waste some of the budget on buying like a really fancy basket from home goods or tj maxx so i decided to just buy a dollar tree one i'm glad they had the big ones available you guys might have seen that in a dollar tree haul but she loves hocus pocus and she loves adult coloring um this was the one thing i did text my brother about i do know Britt fairly well i feel i do let me ignore that's joe um but i wanted to get uh my brother's opinion on the coloring because i know she likes to read but i'm like does she like to color so my brother's like yes get it for her she will love it i knew she loved hocus pocus he's like she loves hocus pocus i said yeah i, I knew about that i just wasn't sure about the coloring so this was i want to say 13 dollars like 12.50 something like that um you guys know i'm used to buy my my coloring books at dollar tree but this is thick it is hefty and it is adult coloring so it is more intricate it's going to take more time. She can enjoy this through with the whole month of October, November. It doesn't matter the season. She is a spooky bitch all year round. And I mean that in the best way, Britt, if you're watching this. Uh, she literally has Halloween decor out at all times. So there is, there, it says there's 100 image, images to inspire creativity. So it was definitely worth the $12.50 in my opinion. And then here is the basket with everything else. Don't worry, this will not be posted until she gets it. So this is kind of how I have the basket set up for now. Um, now I got to add some things. But she saw a, well, she saw because I actually sent it to her. You guys know I follow tons of Target pages. And they were sharing this ghost face plushie over at Target. Target sold out of this so freaking fast. I saw this posted in July. I sent it to her in July. That's when my brother started asking me about the basket. And I said, I'm not going to stop buying stuff till end of August. Like I have plenty of time. It was already gone. So the one from Target, I think was only like $8, but I believe it was smaller. Um, this one I had to order from Walmart and it was like 13, but it is bigger. And how cute, it's just a plush little ghost face doll. It even has the hood, like it's a real usable hood. 
it is so cute and it does have this hanging thing because i know some people do i have a friend who used to hang little stuffies like this in their rear view mirror in their car and he's wearing his little cape and it has like the leather accents for like the gloves and the feet i know she's going to be obsessed with this my brother said that was a must for the basket and then i sold it another small business um, this is an Etsy page. It's called Abby's Art Corner. Anyone that's small business, I will try to remember the link down below. And it says, no, you hang up with all the hearts. And it's Ghostface on the telephone. I was actually going to buy her a sweatshirt from Etsy with this same design. And my brother, I don't know if it was my brother or my brother's, oh, my brother, I was going to say my brother's son. Her son said that she already had it. But it is just a nice little tumbler. You got the bright pink straw and you got a light pink cover. And then inside, I don't know if you guys could tell from the background, there is something in here. This was another Etsy small business. Um, I hope I remember to link it down below. This one, I honestly don't remember the name of. This is my first time ordering. I have ordered from Abby's Art Corner before. Her stuff's always amazing. I have ordered from Book Bond Book Galore before. But this one was new. But I wore the t-shirt in a haul the other day, the Sanderson sisters, and I loved it. Um, and it was plus size. But she had this little sticker for $2. So I threw it in when I ordered my t-shirts. And same thing, it says, no, you hang up. And it matches the cup because it has the hearts. So if she wants to put this on one of her current water bottles or her laptop or whatever, for 2 bucks, I figured I could throw it in with her basket. So I kind of put it in the cup so it doesn't get lost. And I left it in that packaging just so it's more visible. So that is, the cup I believe was 18 from the small business. And that's because she had it pre-made. Because usually her cups are like 20 if you buy it normally. But she shared it and she was like, this is pre-made. I only have one left, 18, who wants her, 17, something like that. Um, and she actually has a page on Facebook that I'm in where she will show like new releases. She'll ask like, and she'll do deals for people that are in that page. Then I got her this mug from target that says hey boo with the flying ghost she loves ghost face she loves ghosts you guys are gonna see that then i put thought full she needs a pair of cozy socks so i got her these cozy socks i have it just rolled up in the mug these are also from target they are hide and eek brand and it is cozy fuzzy ghost socks the mug was five the socks were five this this basket added up very quickly let me tell you guys and then this, I just thought, I don't know if she'll actually like decorate with it. Honestly, if she throws it away, I will not be offended. I just thought this would look so cute in the basket. And this was a Dollar Tree product, so it didn't take up a lot of the budget. It was only $1.25. Um, but I just thought it was so cute to put on the back of the basket. Like, it's a boo basket. You know, he's popping out of the basket. <laughs> so I grabbed that. And then I'll show you the other two Dollar Tree products while I'm here. This is a Dollar Tree product. Um they had this last year i never saw it in my stores and this year i saw it so i scooped one up for me it's in my kitchen right now but it is a soap dispenser and it comes with the soap for the dollar 25 so you have the little cute like ghost design and it has the soap inside and it says it's coconut lime scented so whether she puts this in her bathroom or her kitchen sink i think she will really like this um i think she even has a halloween shower curtain so that'll go with her motif and then this this little guy right here is a Dollar Tree find, but I searched high and low for this. My stores never got it. This was also a Dollar Tree product last year that never showed up in my stores. This is amazing for $1.25. Me and Brittany, which is my brother's girlfriend, ha both have the large ghost that we paid $15 for at Home Goods. This is like the exact replica, but smaller. She has a little reading nook with a bookshelf. This will look amazing. It lights up. There's a light switch. I have to pull the tab so it won't light up right now. I don't want to do that because this is not mine. Um, but I know she's going to love this because she loves the big one. So, but... This never showed up in my stores. The only reason I have this in my hand right now is I tell you guys all the time I follow tons of Target pages over on my Instagram. And um, we're always communicating. It's like a little community over there. I'm always messaging them. They message me back. I share their posts. They share mine. One of the girls actually lives in Massachusetts, which is where I live. And she is next to Boston, which I am like an hour from Boston. And once in a blue moon, they don't share just Target. They'll share like Walmart, Dollar Tree. But she, her name, her her name is Yvette but her her page name is my happy place is Target she did a Dollar Tree run and these were in her store and I contacted her and I was like oh my god I've been dying for those goals and I never see them in my store and she was like girl how many do you want like I'll ship it to you so I said oh my god get me four so she literally went the following day got me four and shipped this to me um she actually split the shipping with me because she had to send me a package already anyway. I had one a giveaway of hers, which was very nice of her. Oh my God, I just realized I never paid her. Oh, I gotta message her. Oh my God, I feel awful right now. 
I had told her when I get paid Friday and it's been, it's already almost next Friday. I'm going to message her as soon as I get off. I hope I remember. But anyway, so I just paid her for the cost of the ghost and we split the shipping. I didn't pay her yet. But anyway, so Brittany, if you're watching this, you got one of my ghosts all the way from Boston uh, of the four. One is actually going in a Halloween giveaway on my channel and the other two I'm keeping for myself. And then one product is from Old Navy and it is pajamas. I love their matching pajama sets. I have many of them. They do seasonal ones. This is one of their seasonal ones. Um, and it is the ghost print, clearly. I thought it was so cute. Says Boo, he's holding a jack-o'-lantern. There's some of him just flying around. Um, this set was on sale for 30. And then at the very bottom of the basket, I have a sweatshirt. I got her from Target for $20. And it is the Ouija board sweatshirt. And I am bummed that they did not have this in my size because I was going to buy it in my size. And it was sold out. And you guys know sweatshirts like this. And you guys know I love supporting small businesses. I'm here talking about small businesses. And I've seen shirts like this on Etsy go for like $50. And as much as I love supporting small businesses, I also got to think about my wallet. So I didn't buy it. It was going to be for myself. And then when I saw Target came out with one and it was only 20 and in plus, of course, my size was sold out, but I was able to pick it up for Brittany. So I hope she loves it. Like I said, the basket itself is Dollar Tree as well. A nice big one. Originally, I had bought like a small red one. And I, when I started buying the things, I said, this is not going to fit. So <laughs> I actually gave it to my mom because my mom is actually making a spooky basket for her too. So I said, here, take this basket. I said, I'm going to have to like pitch in, use some of the budget for uh, like a basket at TJ Maxx or something. And then I went into Dollar Tree for other things. And so this was literally the last one because I would have preferred black, but whatever, it was the last one and I picked it up. So I have the sweatshirt kind of rolled up at the bottom, the pajamas on the back. And then I have all the cutesy things kind of just sitting in the front. You guys will see it in the thumbnail. I will take a picture of it. Um, I don't want to like arrange it here on camera because honestly, I'm moving things constantly. And um, it's, just, it's a gloomy day. I have to have my ring light today. If it was like natural lighting, maybe I would. But it's going to be too confusing to set up for me. Uh, but like I said, you will see it in the thumbnail. I will definitely make an Instagram post about it. I always link my Instagram down below if you guys want to see more detail. Maybe I'll actually take individual pictures of each item just right now too and i can do a whole like slide so you guys can see everything if you want i can tag the businesses i love doing that and the prices but this basket my brother had said originally like 100 bucks and then i wrote my brother and i said hey can we do can we have some wiggle room can we do like 120 125 since i, I want to so i can buy a because i have to buy a like the, i was like so far her items are are, are around a hundred dollars but I have to buy the basket too. So my brother said, yeah, that's fine. Then I saw a book barn galore was coming out with that collection, but I'm not gonna lie, it was expensive. And those three items, four items, yeah, were like, like I said, it was either 65 or 75. So of course I asked him before I ordered it and he said, yeah, it was fine. So the, her basket ended up coming. I still have to add everything up, but I wanna say it was about $175. And I feel like it doesn't even look like it. It's crazy how expensive things are, but I know she's going to love it. I know she's going to enjoy it. I'm glad my brother uh, let me have a little creative freedom and let me extend the budget a little bit. Because if not, it would have been hard for me. I would have been like, oh my God, what do I get her? What do I not get her? What do I think she'll like more? Well, you know what I mean? So I'm glad I was able to just kind of purchase everything and my brother was totally cool with it. Um, he's a great guy. He's also my mechanic. He literally fixed my car last week. Um, poor guy worked like 14 hours and then fixed my car completely for free. Um, he does that all the time. He's a great guy. Um, I have great men around me. I have Joe and my dad. I was, I have amazing people around me most of the time. <laughs> we all got our bad moments. That's a different story for a different day. But if you're watching the spread, I hope you loved everything. I know she does watch my channel, so this will definitely be going up after she gets it. Today is a 22nd. Um, I, today is Thursday. I believe she will be getting this on Sunday. I know my brother wants to give it to her before October so she can really enjoy everything for the month of October, like her pajamas and all that stuff. Um, I was going to get her like a book and a candle, but you guys can see the budget was already over it. My mom actually decided, my mom's like, oh, I'm going to make her a spooky basket. you have any ideas? I said, get her a book. I gave my mom a book that I heard was really good that I hope Britt loves. I gave my mom Gigi and Bo's info and my mom bought a Gigi and Bo bookmark from her um because i don't want to forget my friend Brittany over at gg and bow i love her i will link her down below as well and then 
I didn't tell my mom a candle, but my mom got her like candies and other little things. So the only thing she didn't get that I really wanted to get her was a candle. I wanted to support another small business called Paperback Candles, which is actually local to Massachusetts. And they have a candle called Thriller. And it's supposed to smell like pumpkin and spicy and stuff like that. I'll link them down below as well. Even though you're not seeing the product, um, you guys know I love supporting small businesses. And her candles are not that expensive compared to other small business candles. She has some Gilmore collection cameras that I, uh, candles that I want to buy for myself um, that I just don't have the budget for right now. I just got paid. Like I said, you guys know I had the whole summer off. And I'm like catching up on bills. And then I had to buy these things. Of course, my brother's paying me back. But um anyway so once i have a little more extra money i'm definitely gonna buy a paperback candle i'll probably buy a few and i'll have a haul on that on my channel so i'm usually ha do, do hauls and unboxings mondays are mass mondays thursday are book club videos and fridays are vlogs when i have them i don't always have a vlog but when me and joe have a fun night out i will vlog so if any of that interests you, definitely consider subscribing. Definitely consider hitting the notification bell so you're notified when I upload. If you like the haul, you like me, you like ghost face, you like ghosts, you like Halloween, you like spooky baskets, give the video a thumbs up. It helps the YouTube algorithm. But that is it for this video, guys. Let me know what your favorite item is down below. What would be out of all this? Would it be the mug, the soap, the plushie? Would it be the pajamas? Would it be the sweatshirt? Would it be the book accessories? I'm really curious. But that's it, guys. Be safe.